our economic outlook has brightened considerably. The global recession has been less protracted than we initially feared. Europe still has a problem struggling to contain COVID-19. But the US is expected to make a strong recovery on the back of a large stimulus package and good progress vaccinating its population. China's economy is performing strongly too, and these external trends give us confidence in our own prospects. Earlier, MTI forecast that we would make 4 to 6 percent growth this year. Barring a setback to the global economy, and provided our domestic COVID situation remains stable, there's a very good chance we can achieve 6 percent or better this year. But of course, even 6 percent only brings us back to where we were before COVID hit us. And some sectors like aviation and tourism will not recover soon. And now we see new, stra new strains of COVID emerging. And we are watching our own situation and it can easily, quickly turn bad again. After a long period when we had very few community cases, in the last few days, several new community clusters have emerged, some quite big and worrying. The government is doing everything we can to prevent these clusters from spreading in the community. And we will have to be agile and decisive in our response to tighten measures promptly where it's necessary to clamp down on the spread and to avoid going into a second circuit breaker. I hope Singaporeans will work with us and not let down our guard. It is not time to relax yet. This is a marathon. Let's keep jogging. Let's keep ourselves safe. Don't make the mistake which other countries have done. Celebrate too early. Relax too fast. Let your guard down cause another wave to come, very often worse than the first, and more nasty, drastic measures become necessary. If we have to do another lockdown like last year's circuit breaker, it would be a major setback for our people and for our economic recovery. Let's not make it happen.